Hey all, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another session of how to become system administrator in 2024. In previous class of this series, we discussed about how we can manage the disk like as we are on page of storage management. We already discussed about what is SAN, what is NAS, the different types of uh, hard drive that we have in the market. And now I am moving ourselves to the another topic related to the storage. Yes, in this class, I am going to guide you about FAT file system, right? Because we are on page of Windows operating system. So you should know about how many method we have to create partition. Basically, I'm talking about the FAT file system, file allocation table. And we'll also try to give you the basic information about RAID system in the same video. So do one thing, let's move ourselves to the screen and try to understand about the component of uh, FAT file system and RAID system. I'm moving myself to the screen, but before that, if you're new on my YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, please do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without skip any step. So I'm moving myself to the desktop screen because I'm going to give you the complete practical information. So I hope you guys are able to see my screen. Let's try to understand about the concept and uh, then we'll talk about the implementation process, like how we can implement our uh, FAT file system. And we'll also discuss about the RAID, redundant array of independent disk. Try to understand about the concept of FAT file system as per the name suggests, this is also considered as a file allocation, right? File allocation table. The meaning of file allocation table, each and every operating system uses their own file systems. File system can help us to create partition to install any operating system or create partition to put our personal data. So we are trying to understand about related to uh, Windows based file system. So basically Windows can give us a multiple types of file system that we can use to create partition in our hard drive. I also show you the step like these file systems are FAT16, FAT32, NTFS, right, and REFS, which is applicable for only server operating system. And the last one is extended FAT, right? Five different types of method we have that we can use to create a partition in any storage. And uh, let's try to understand more about the use cases of file system, FAT16, FAT32, NTFS, and extended FAT. FAT16 can help us to create a partition with maximum capacity of 2 GB. It will not give you any kind of security, no security feature available in the partition that you are going to create with the help of FAT16, right? The maximum capacity that we can use in case of creating partition by using FAT16, just 2 GB. Max partition size for uh, uh, FAT32, yes, we are able to create a single partition with capacity of 32 GB, this is the maximum limit. No security, it will also not provide any kind of security to protect our file or folder. And maximum data size, or you can say that file size, uh, that we can use to put in this particular partition. We are not authorized to upload more than 4 GB of data in case of FAT32 partition. No matter you have enough space, you created a partition with capacity of 25 GB and you are trying to upload single file with capacity of 4 GB, more than 4 GB like any kind of ISO image of uh, server operating system, ISO image of Windows 10 or 11, you are trying to put it into the partition that you party, that you created with the help of FAT32, uh, I don't think it will support. I'll show you the practical as well. Next important part. NTFS, so NTFS is basically the capacity of NTFS is based on MBR and GPT. MBR is a master boot record and GPT consider as a GUID partition table. MBR can help us to create maximum partition up to 2 TB and GPT can provide us an option to create a partition with 256 TB, right? This is the maximum capacity. 
If your hard disk format available in GPT, then definitely we are able to create partition up to 256 TB. If the hard disk is available in your machine, in your computer by with, with the format of MBR, then we are not able to create a partition more than 2 TB. REFS, this is a kind of file system which is available on in only server operating system, right? If you are using server 2012, 2016, 2019 or 2022. So, these types of server operating system contain the feature of REFS and we can use this particular feature to create cluster. I am talking about the failover cluster for the storage services, right? And apart from the REFS, we are able to find extended FAT as per the name suggests. You can use this particular file system to create partition using pen drive, right? You can use this uh, file format for pen drive or external HDD, external hard drive. The main agenda to create partition by using extended FAT because it will support all types of platform. It will support Windows operating system, Linux machine and Mac operating system. So, let me give you one example. For example, you are using multiple platform based machine multiple platform based machine in the sense one computer with windows another machine with linux and one more machine you establish in your environment by using mac operating system right and unfortunately you have a single pen drive right with capacity of 64 gb and sometime you want to copy the data from windows sometime you need to copy and paste data to linux and you also going to use same pen drive for mac operating system so, if you formatted your pen drive with the help of extended FAT, then definitely we are able to use same pen drive on different platform like for Windows, for Linux, for Mac, all types of platform support, extended fi fi file system can support the all types of platform. This is all about the theoretical part. Let me move ourselves to the setup. I have already created one virtual machine. So, we, we not only the virtual machine, we can also use in our uh, uh, base computer if you have a enough space so we can also use in base machine so let me give you the live practical of uh, fat 16 ntfs and extended fat as well and we'll also discuss about um, the concept of uh, what we can say that uh, fat 32 this is my windows 11 machine and i'm going to open disk management just need to type disk mgmt dot msc and uh, in this particular drive, in this particular machine, we are able to find two different hard disk available. Disk 0 with 1 TB capacity and disk 1 with capacity of 500, approximately 512. Right click on our hard drive, disk 0, go to the properties and click on driver. Click on volume and it will give us option. This volume is related to the MBR format. Means the maximum partition we are able to create by using this particular hard drive more than 2 TB, not more than 2 TB, less than 2 TB. So, not in soup because we are going to create a small partition, NTFS partition is already available. N number of partitions are available based on NTFS. Let me create one file, one partition by using FAT16, right? So, right click on the blank space or free hard disk space, click new simple volume, next and the capacity of uh, this partition, I am going to proceed with 1.5 GB, 1500 MB, next. File format, you need to drag and drop. Three different options are available. FAT, also considered a FAT16, FAT32 and NTFS. I'm going to create by using the option of FAT16. One partition is ready and the partition size is 1.5 GB. Let me create another partition with capacity of maybe 15 gig space, 15,000. Next, next drag and drop and we, here we are able to find only two different options. One is FAT16, FAT32 and another is NTFS. We are not able to find the option of FAT16. Why? Because you exceeded the limit. The maximum capacity to create partition by using FAT16 up to 2 GB. And here we are trying to create a partition by using 15 GB of partition size. FAT32, click next, next and finish. We successfully created two partition, NTFS based partition already available, not only the NTFS based partition, 
I am going to use external hard drive and will try to create partition with the help of extended FAT. So let me open this PC to identify the number of partitions that we just created. These drives are based on FAT NTFS, FAT16 and FAT32 based partitions are also available. I am going to open it, create a folder, let me create one folder with name of data. Right click on folder, go to the properties and I do not think we are able to find any option related to security. We do not have any option related to the security in FAT16 based drive. FAT32, open and create data 2, right click on properties, right click on folder, go to the properties and I, again we are not able to find the option related to the security. It means that, it means that. FAT32 and FAT16 will not help you to create any kind of security for your data, for file and folder. Apart from the FAT16 and 32, let me open any NTFS formatted drive like software. Multiple folders are available in this particular uh, drive. I am going to open any existing folder because the drive we formatted by using NTFS. So that is why we are able to find the option of security. So it means that NTFS based formatted base, NTFS file formatted base drive, we are able to manage the security and protect our folder or we are able to protect the data, right, any kind of file that you establish. I hope you guys are able to understand about the concept of these file systems, right. This is really important for every system administrator or, or, or you are going to present yourself as a um, Vintel engineer, so you also need to know about the use cases of these file systems. If you have any doubt, if you have any question, please do let me know. Uh, you can also drop me a comment. You can send me the message on my WhatsApp number, then definitely we'll reach out and give you the proper solution. That's it for today. We'll connect tomorrow and discuss about the rate system, one of important topic. So thank you so much guys. Do subscribe your on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Take care. Bye-bye.